Yay. Good morning, Barbara. I can't tell you what a joy it is to have you back with me today. Um, missed you. Missed you lots. Um, so we'll just give it a couple of minutes just for everyone else to join and we can have a little natter, can't we, Barbara? I um, hope you're well. hope everything's okay. Um, we missed you yesterday, but so what I did is yesterday was um, something I wanted to share with you. So I, what I've done, I've just flipped the day. So what I was going to show you on day two, I'm now showing you on day four. So not a big deal. I have to keep looking at my book at the moment, so sorry. Um, I come straight from work, even though I'm working at home. As soon as I finish uh, my work, I quickly set this up so I'm all ready to go. So I've set up most of it the night before, but... I can't always remember because my head's still full of work. So I have to uh, start thinking and calming down. So calming down is the perfect time for this workshop because it, it's um, it's a nice place to be, I think, all together. Just reminding ourselves that we're meant to be calming, slowing our lives down. And even with everything else going around us, everything will be okay. Okay, positive thoughts, everybody. So it's just getting to four o'clock by my clock in the garden. So I should say welcome. Welcome to Debbie's Doodle Workshop. So let's have a look what we've got today. Uh, usual, I'd like to just remind you, if you want to know more about me, please do go and have a look at my website, Debbie Robinson Artist, SAA, which is Society for All Artists. I'm linked to that. Um, or Google, uh, on Facebook, you'll find me as well. Um, Debbie Robinson Artist. So if you want to know more, just message me and I'll give you some more information. Um, we do one doodle a day and then we build it up. Well, we've built up quite a palette now because I said, think of these doodles as palettes. We've built up quite a good palette now. So I'm going to start doing a few more intricate things. If it gets a bit too busy for you, don't worry. Just stick to the simple stuff. You can still take pair it back and just do simple letters or shapes. It's all about calm. Oh and enjoying our company because this is my gift to you I, i'm not a national health worker i'm not a key worker I, can, I have nothing else to give except some time with you so i'm hoping this helps those home alone or children who are a bit bored or anything like that just share it with people and just so that they can have 20 minutes of contact every day okay and it might give parents a little bit of respite or siblings and also a bit of contact for those at home alone. So this is my gift to you. Right. Disclaimer, you're there. I'm here. I can't see what you're up to. So please be careful with those pencils. Um, as always, we start off with a little stretch. Three minutes in and we're stretching. Some deep breaths. Hope you've got some water. Keep, keep your water. Hydration up. Shall we start? So, I think um, today um, we're, we're putting together the letter NHS. Now, I know not everyone's in the same country, so if you just want to do um, uh, other letters, that's fine, or, or anything that you feel is relevant to the moment. Um, you can do your name, you can do your initials, but today I, I thought I'd do uh, Cameron with the NHS, so I should, the National Health so listen, we'll put that in my window because I know lots of people are putting rainbows and NHS posters up. So I thought, well, why don't we do one as a doodle? So let's move on. So today, today I thought we'd look at, um, do you remember I said to you to look at, look at what's around you, look at what, um, what patterns you can see? Well, I was out for a walk again the other day social distancing at the same time don't worry we see anyone we cross the road so here we go so uh, if you remember rightly we have a piece of a4 paper we fold it in half fold it in half fold it in half again and that's where we start doing a doodle and eventually you'll end up with eight doodles on one a4 page or as i do i put mine in a book okay and then gradually i'll work through and we start off with one idea and then we expand so anyway, I can see we have another person joining us. So hello. Do sign in and say hello so I can give you a shout out. So here we go. This is our first doodle. And I'm going to break it up into quite a few today because 
I might even add another another one on the back here because I am fascinated with drain covers at the moment. Sounds a bit uh, interesting, but drain covers. And there's so many different drain covers out there at the moment. I'm sure they all mean something, but I don't know what they mean. So here are a few designs I saw, and that was ones with triangles on. So you could have a pattern with just triangles. Okay, and notice they're all in a row. Now, or, now that's what the drain, co drain cover looked like, or you could change it. Remember, we expand each time on a doodle and see what we can change and turn it into a totally different doodle. Oh, says I'm now live. Well, that's good. <laughs> okay, how about if we colour some in? That again, changes the doodle, doesn't it? Isn't that a bit closer? Is that a bit better? Okay. So, I'll carry on doing that. What if we did lines in it? Getting a bit intricate now, or perhaps bigger. Or one in one. So this one design, again, one design has lots of different connotations that we can do. <sighs> They're pretty boring. Oh, you put so much more interesting. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. Right. Okay. So how about how about uh, another drain cover I saw, which had squares? Now, that sounds almost the same, and it is, but we can think of it differently. If we joined the... Yeah, we can join them up like that. Again, all I saw was this in the in the road. And we could do that one differently. We could do that. Maybe put a circle in the centre. Do another four. So yeah, I, I think it's important to give something back to all these key workers and that, these national health people who are helping us so much. I'm so proud of them and, uh, and I feel in awe that they go to work and they must be so exhausted and it must be so hard work for them. I feel a bit pathetic that this is my effort, but it's the best I can do at the moment. What if we put some circles in between, some dots? How about that? What do we think of that? Okay, what do we think of that? So that's another, another design just with squares. We've done squares and triangles. Another one I saw just had a huge diamond in the centre which we can goose in the corner. I always like doing that. I think that looks good. We can expand on that and have lines going out. Starting to better maybe. What if we start doing this? And if you do it in pencil and you don't like it, you can just erase it so it's not a big deal. Let's get a bit more, get a bit more busy. Okay, you could do these lines out if you wanted to. Yeah, so it, it just depends on what you want. So there's another design that you can do. Again, we have another one which I found quite interesting. And it was... Three lines like that. That's all it was. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that okay? And then the next row went the other way. And I thought, well, that's quite a, a sweet little design. I quite like that. I think that's quite nice. I'm not sure where I would use it. I might use it if I was doing a picture of a car and I wanted to have a, like, a mechanical look. Or I could do it where if I wanted something to look like a basket. Because that's a bit basket weavy, isn't it? So what if the next one, what if we did basket weave? So as you know, basket weave sort of, but it has to touch. And then the next row has to, okay. can you see how we're going?
How do you think? Can you see the basket weave coming? So all you have to do is three lines underneath, the ones that are vertical, three horizontal under the vertical, and then under the horizontal, you do three vertical. Now, you can use as many lines as you want. Okay, and the, you can see the basket weave is coming along quite nicely. What was another one I did? Another one I did was colouring in just squares in squares. If you remember rightly, we also did this sort of design, which we did when we were doing checkerboard. Yeah? And you can colour it in. You can have ones with colours, which is pretty cool. Yeah? Still with me? Great design for men's shirt. I think so. I mean, it's quite good. There we go. It's all right, isn't it? I rather like this one. I don't like this, this bit in here, so I'm just going to colour that bit in because I didn't like it. There we go. And maybe this one. Look how that stands out now. Yeah, it's a totally different one at the top is chicken's feet. <laughs> yeah, possibly. Possibly. So we've got a few more designs there. And it was all from drain covers. These, these were the most amazing drain covers I've ever seen. But the ones with just like squares and things like that in, they had all different shapes. There was also one that was just dots. <laughs> and it it was more of a, um, it reminded me of a Dalek. So <laughs> this one just had dots and they were like raised bumps, you know, so it was just dots. It's, uh, it's nice enough. It's almost back to the circles. So if we um, get rid of this now and we'll do the next letter, which is H in the NHS. And I'd just also like to show you a few things. So I said, remember, look around your house and everything and see what you can see. And you never know, you might find some patterns that inspire you. As I said, on my cover here, I don't get you too dizzy. If you look on here, look at all these different patterns. We've got the shells, we've got the flowers here there's a, like a checkerboard and there's circles look at that I just noticed it's got triangles in just just patterned in I think this is quite beautiful and I'm using it as a sun shield in my lovely art room okay and if you could look over here you'll see my little friend here waving at you hello so what else did I find well I, I went around my house and I found five things within a couple of minutes just to show you different patterns. So here on my pen, lip, pen holder, look at all the different patterns on that. Isn't that just absolutely gorgeous? But that's quite an easy pattern to use. There. And you can have them all coming out. Another pattern I saw was on my Chinese art thing. Look at this. Look at that little pattern there, the way it goes over and over. And I think on here, you find the skin. I don't know if I can get it close enough for you to see, but just the skin there. But even that pattern along its back, there's another pattern. It looks like fire. The next one I found was a present someone did. Someone made this for me. Isn't it absolutely delightful? AJ, you are so clever. But it's a little box, and I absolutely adore it. There you go. But look, all she's done is zigzag. She's actually, it's, this wasn't, this was plain before she got hold of it. And look what she's done. Isn't she clever? Absolutely brilliant. I don't know where I got the pen holder from. I think it was a gift from someone, but it's so pretty. This, I know where I got this. I got this in Penang. If you look here, can you see all the, sh do you remember we did scales? So again, there's all these different, so it's got all different colours, yeah? And look at this one, this bit here, just doing that sort of design and how to do an eye if you're doing animals. And look at the tail, look how the ta they've done the tail. So just going around looking at your things around your house, your clothes, 
other people's clothes. As, as I've said, I've gone up and I've actually taken a photo of someone's outfit just to get a certain design. And most people think it's hilarious and don't mind. And the last one I've got is an old photo album. Look at that. That's quite a really intricate design, but it's quite easy. And just now and then there's a little bit coloured in. So that's quite a good design. I rather like that. Very simple, just lots of wiggly lines or straight lines even. A few curved, but it's just lots of random lines. And then there's, there's a couple of bits coloured in. So there's a couple of ideas for you for when you want to um, uh, perhaps get a few more ideas for your paint palette. Right. So we're going to get on and do the letter H today using today's so let's do the H in bubble form because we like that. Something like that. Does that look about right? I think that'd be okay. It's just a bit of fun. There we go. So how are we going to do it today? Are we just going to use one pattern and go through the whole lot? Well, I don't think it's a bad thing to do that. Um, we could, I think I might use, because um, day one it was more bricks. Day two was scrolls, so we've done brick. And we did scrolls, which was yesterday. which And that's the one I used for the N. So this was the N. I haven't used brick form yet. Um, so I think I might do basket might do the basket because I think that's quite a, an interesting one and it will give you an idea how it can go together when you're not sure. Now don't forget it also looks a bit like a mummy, a bit like a bandage so um, it doesn't have to be perfect okay don't expect it to, to just fall into place because it just might not and that, but that's okay, you know? See how it's gradually building up? And I'm not, I'm not having it too straight. I'm keeping it a little bit off the wall. It's just sort of coming together, as you can see. So as you can see, it's building up. Now, if I wanted to, I could colour in the odd little bit that was, you know, these little triangles here and there. And can you see how it makes it stand out a little bit? So all of a sudden, all of a sudden, these little, these little bits that stand out, yeah, they just make it look a bit more 3D. And that's all I do to my artwork. I sort of look at it and then I might go back and improve on that. But the idea is you start off with a simple design. Now, if you remember, this one started off with just this, this design I'd seen on a drain cover. And the next thing you know, we've come up with this mummy pattern, almost basket work. Um, it's one of my favorite patterns because you don't really have to think too much. I use this one quite a lot. I don't know if it's on here. I don't think it's on my T-shirt. No, it's not on this T-shirt. No, nope, I have got my scrolls on this T-shirt, which I, we were doing yesterday. I don't know if you can see my scrolls. There's the scrolls going up there. I forgot it was on this one. There you go. And also it has somewhere, it also has triangles down the bottom. Triangles. Can you see the triangles there? So let's carry on and see how far we get. Obviously, I won't be able to do it all today, but we can certainly see how we're getting on. And hopefully, I've already started doing a big poster for my window. Hopefully, tomorrow, I might be able to show you a little bit more that I've done. But definitely, by the end of the week, I'll have something to show you. As you can see, it's getting a bit complicated around here. So I'm just going to colour those bits in because I wasn't sure what I was doing there. And that's okay, just carry on. And it, there, there will be mistakes. 
and the only one who will spot them is you and you won't be happy with them but that's okay there you go but that's okay it doesn't matter if you've got a few mistakes you can just um cover them up you know do an extra line and be as random as you can and then gradually it will build up into this lovely little piece of artwork that you've put together with not much thought and you've had a bit of a chill out time. Yeah, I'm not getting stressed over this, I'm just colouring, I'm just doing a few bits as I go. If you wanted to, you could have coloured the bits behind in another colour. Yeah, if I do a little bit more, you'll be able to see it in a Maybe if I do a few more bits. We'll be able to see what it looks like when you have some more colours. So what I would like you to do, if you can, is share. Share my link and that to your page so that other people can see it and perhaps pass it on. I would really appreciate that. Like and follow like today's lesson if you like today's lesson please click on like let me just color a bit few of these in and go to my facebook page and like that but it'd be really good if you could share if you could share my doodle art with other people because i think there's a lot of people out there who are probably a bit lonely by now it's been what nearly a month a month is it and uh, i think a little bit of a little bit of love sharing that around would be lovely and this is my way of doing that so remember keep looking around see what's available to you and what's around um, your house or if you're looking out the window brickwork anything like that tiles on, on roofs and um, uh, I'll see you tomorrow and we'll do the S tomorrow and tomorrow it's for Barbara it's been five weeks. God, oh, five weeks for you, Barbara. Gosh, I'm I'm impressed. You're doing really well. Just hang in there. We can get through this. And this time next year, I pray that we'll look back and think, yeah, we all got through it. And not all, but we all did our bit. We all tried. And um, we're very grateful to everyone who, who did their bit within the NHS and all the key workers and everything. So go on Facebook, like, share and follow. Go on on my YouTube and share and um, let's roll out those shoulders don't forget we're, we're de-stressing roll out those shoulders stretch out that chest because all the time you're stretching out that chest you're stopping that fight or flight when you get uh, stressed etc some deep breaths drink plenty of water wiggle your fingers wiggle your toes so you don't feel left out and happy doodling to everyone. Um, if you've missed any, please go back and look at my old one, my older um, uh, streamed um, doodle art on my Debbie Robinson Artist Facebook page, uh, uh, YouTube page, sorry, YouTube page, and you should be able to pick up a few more doodles if you've missed them. Keep in touch. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.